Hi, my name is Yogesh Prabhu and uh, this is a video series on multiple integrations, all right? So what I've done over here is I have selected like 11 key questions. These questions are really handpicked by me. And why do I call them key questions? Because if you can learn all these 11 questions, you pretty much know the whole chapter of multiple integration. Sweet deal, huh? You do 11 questions and learn the entire chapters and these are the questions that are written on the board. And if you see, I put them in types as well, okay? So I just want to elaborate a little bit about what these types are and how we're gonna go about it. So I have marked some types, all right? Let's begin with the type one here, okay? So the first type is a basic multiple integration. It is a double integration, you can see. And you just have to evaluate and get the final answer. So type one is the basic. Okay, and that has to be easy. It's the first question, limits are given, just solve and get the answer kind of a question. Now, moving on to type two. Now, in the type two, if you see the difference between type one and type two, uh, the limits for the integral are not given. Okay, and that is true for all, like question number three, four, five, six, seven, all the seven questions, you do not have the limits of integral. So now what you have to do is, before you go to solve this integral, you have to figure out the limits first and then solve the integral. Now how do you find out the limits? Uh, well, it is mentioned that the integration is over the area or the region R and that area is given by these two curves, like y square equal to x and that's a straight line there. So you have to figure out the area first, from the area obtain the limits and once you obtain the limits, get the or solve the integral is what type 2 is going to be. So uh, type 2 is typically limits of integral not given. So that's pretty much what type 2 is. All right. And that's how question 2, 3, uh, 4, 5. And now I just want you to see the sixth one. It is a little different than uh, all the first five questions. Okay. The sixth question here um, is, do you see it's r and theta? So that's basically a polar form. Okay, so there, are, there is a rectangular in the polar form. So now question number six is of polar form. Question number seven is also a question of polar form. So this is, but I'm still going to call them type two because where the limits are not given. Now over here as well, the limits are not given and you're supposed to find those limits. Well, that's question number, till question number seven. And now if you see question number eight, it's a different question altogether, different type of question. Well, I should call this type three. So let's let's maybe call this uh, type three and let's call this type four. Now see what type three is. Well, type three says change the order of integration. Now what do you mean by that is uh, you just have to flip the integrals like dx dy will become dy dx. So just flip the order. Okay. So that's going to be type uh, three, and that's how question number eight and nine is going to be. Then question number ten is not really flip. Basically, we convert two polar forms. So right now, this is an x, y or the rectangular form. You have to convert that into polar form. So that's the 10th question. And 11th question is going to be, do you see a volume? So this volume is typically a triple integration question. So 11th question is of the typical of the triple integration. So these are the 11 questions. So and I'm going to solve one question, one video wise. So you have 11 videos coming up. And I strongly recommend that you follow a sequence of the questions the way they are written because that is going to make a lot of sense that way because ideally I recommend you learn question number five after you know how to solve question number four. That's one thing that I really want to elaborate over here. So here you go. See you in the next video. The next video is going to be this questions. Okay. The solution for this question. All right. See you then.